guys, Tony here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a really cool mini home theater which belongs to one of my subscribers from Columbus, Ohio. His name is Daniel, and his theater is a perfect example of things I talk about in my videos, and that is making the most of the space available in the best way possible. In Daniel's case, his room had challenges due to it being on the small side, much like my own theater, but he worked around the problem and with some determination was able to get a very cool space that he and his family can enjoy. There are some really cool features to this home theater and I can't wait to show them to you. But first, if you're new to my channel, I make content around home theater, including home theater tours like the one you're watching right now, as well as home theater build guides, advice, and product reviews. My aim is to share my home theater journey with you. So if that's something you'd like to see more of, consider hitting the subscribe button. And while you're down there, hit the like button for me too. It's the quickest and easiest way you can show your support to the channel. And it really does help the video's performance. Anyway, let's get into the video right after the intro. So Daniel fell down the rabbit hole that is this hobby about eight months ago when he decided to upgrade his TV. Family night was always a favorite time for him since he was a teenager and it didn't take much for him to decide to find a space in his home to make into a dedicated home theater. The room dimensions are 10 feet wide by 12 feet deep and seven and a half feet high, which for a room size can be a little challenging to get everything set up as he restricted when it comes to placing things like speakers, the screen size and the seating. What I really like about this room is that through his creativity, Daniel has made the space look and feel like a dedicated theater. One of the standout features are the awesome movie posters. It was a family affair with his wife and kids also picking some of them out and it gives a real theater vibe to the room. Seating was going to be a challenge, but by utilizing the Hommel recliners from Amazon, as well as some matching cup holder side tables, everything was able to fit into the room quite nicely. I have links down below if you're interested in checking them out. Another awesome touch is the popcorn machine, which isn't inside the theater, but really adds to the experience on movie nights. The unit is a great Northern carnival style popcorn machine. Daniel was also able to add some nice accent lighting using the Philips Hue with some bulbs in canned lights and a Philips Hue LED strip beneath the seating which really sets the mood before a movie as well as being able to get back to the seat without tripping over in the dark. For smart control, we have the Harmony Elite, which was a recent birthday present from his wife and allows for easy control of the theater and switching between devices. Daniel also has voice commands through Siri, where he tells me his kids get excited when he comes home from work and he says, hey Siri, it's movie time. So moving along to the screen, we have the 16 by nine, 120 inch Elite Screens Manual B screen, which brings me to another very cool feature. And that is that Daniel made his own masking panels from some yardsticks and some black fabric, which are attached using some clips. A great way to block out any additional reflections during movie time. The projector is the Optoma UHD50, which is a pixel shifting 4K projector that supports HDR. This projector also allows for a shorter throw distance, which is a big consideration in a small room. For the speaker configuration, we have a 5.1.2 setup. Daniel went with the definitive technology Pro Cinema 800 5.1 speaker package. The front left and right speakers, as well as the side surrounds, are identical monitor style speakers called Pro Monitor 800, with a 4.5 inch mid range driver and a 1 inch aluminum dome tweeter producing 89 decibels from 2.83 volts at 1 meter going into 8 ohms. These have been mounted using stands at the front and wall brackets at the back. The center speaker is the Pro Center 1000, which uses the same monitor drivers, producing 90 decibels from 2.83 volts at one meter going into eight ohms. For LFE, we have the Pro Sub 800, which is a 10 inch subwoofer with an internal amplifier producing 300 watts. 
For height speakers, Daniel didn't want to cut into the nicely patterned ceiling, so he went with some Yamaha outdoor speakers, which have a bracket that he could screw in without causing too much damage. These work great at giving height effects during movies. Daniel wasn't actually looking for speakers when he bought them, but felt that after some research that they would be perfect for the room and his budget. These speakers were a big upgrade from the soundbar that they had been borrowing, and as I mentioned earlier, the whole journey started when Daniel decided to upgrade his TV. For the size, these speakers produce enough volume to adequately fill the space. To power the setup, we have an Onkyo TX-NR656, which Daniel got from a great deal on Facebook Marketplace. In Daniel's own words, if you're on a budget, do your research, be patient, and don't be afraid to buy used. For way of streaming, playing Blu-rays and gaming, we have the Xbox One X, although Daniel does plan on upgrading to the Series X as soon as it becomes available. This console does the job quite nicely. Daniel also has a wide collection of steelbooks, UHD discs, Blu-rays and DVDs, which he stores on display on some wall-mounted shelving. So guys, what do you think of Daniel's mini dedicated home theater? Show him some love in the comment section down below as well as dropping a like on the video to show your support. I think Daniel has done a fantastic job in getting into the hobby with the constraints of size and budget. It shows that this hobby is attainable to anyone who wants to get into it and what a bit of hard work and determination can get you. If you like the video, smash the like button for me. And if you're into home theater room tours like this one, build guides and advice, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the little bell so you'll be notified when I drop the next video. Anyway, that's it for this one. You'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now.